Hey everybody, this is Aaron from Aaron's Audio Corner, and over the past couple months I've had people ask me about my car audio system, you know, what I have in it, why I chose what I chose, and all those kind of things, and sometimes I'll direct them to Car Audio Junkies where I posted a build log, which I will put in the description below, and then other times I pointed them to a video made by my friend Nick Apicella in New York, who came to finals in Louisville, Kentucky in 2019 and did some installer or not installers, but uh, I guess install type videos about various competitors at Mecca Iaska finals. And to save myself the headache of trying to recreate everything that I've done before, I'm just going to use his video with his permission and I'm going to upload it here to my channel. First of all, thank you, Nick, for creating that content for me and then giving it to me to post on this channel. Also, I didn't go into the nitty gritty details that I do in the build log, which I'll link below. And I would like to maybe in the future redo that video just so I can give credit where credit's due because there's a whole lot of work that went into the car system that really isn't shown in detail in this video just because what you see is the final product. So if I had the time, I'll go back and recreate more of a behind the scenes type video that shows the installation process done by my friend Steve Cook at Audio X in Florence, Alabama. And that's the real tagline here is that Steve and his crew do an incredible job. If you guys want top flight work, craftsmanship, tuning, sound quality, uh, he's an SPL former world record holder, if not current world record holder in some particular records. And he knows what he is doing. I would highly recommend him if you're in the Southeast area. But if you're in the Northeast area, the guy who filmed this video, Nick, is another person who I can highly recommend. Very, very talented young man. And with that said, let's go ahead and kick this video off. You ready? Sure. You can make jokes. You can say that's what she said. That's what she said. You're looking good. All right, let's go. All right. All right. Go. Am I ready? You're good. You're good. Am I good? All We're right. recording. Oh, We're okay. live. All right. Well, this is live on Facebook, by the way. Live, live? All right. I'm Aaron Hardison. This is my 2019 Honda Civic Hatch Sport. Um, I am competing here at Finals 2019, and I am in IASCA Pro Am, and I'm in Mecca Extreme. So, show you the install. This was built by uh, Steve Cook at Audio X in Florence, Alabama. Uh, these are True Audio or True Technology Grande amps. There is a four channel here, which drives a tweeter in the mid range. There is a mid bass amp, and then this is a subwoofer amp, which is bridged down for the JL Audio 12W6V3. Uh, it's in a sealed enclosure, and I don't recall the size off the top, but it's a sealed enclosure, and it seems to work pretty well. Oh, we're totally off. You like Van Halen? Van Halen. You are an 80s baby. Who doesn't love Van Halen, right? I don't know. All right, All right so I'll close this door. Here? So I've got a Kenwood DDX9905S, and it runs my Apple iPhone out of one USB port. I uh, use it on CarPlay, which I love. And then in the glove box, I have a USB drive buried in here somewhere. Just as a secondary? Yeah, just as a secondary. Um, I store like the high res music and stuff like that on it, but for the daily, I just use CarPlay. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah, that's what I do. Spotify and just go. Yeah. So for drivers up front, um, all I've got in the car is everything that's up front other than the subwoofer. I've got Audio Frog GB60s and the doors. So I'm going to open it up and see regular door. All stock. Yep, yep. And uh, the ScanSpeak Tweeter Beryllium Dome in the cell panels. And then up front, so this is where the money shot is, right? So this car stock does not come with... The money shot, I don't see yeah, anything. Well, I don't see that's, anything. That's what, are you guys, yeah. what are you guys talking about? So this car does not come with mid-ranges stock in the dash at all. My goal with this car, unlike my previous car, was to have something that looks stock but can get the best possible sound I can out of it. So I went to Steve Cook, we talked about some stuff, and he said that he thinks what he can do is to build enclosures inside the dash and we go from there. So I dropped it off to them. They wound up having to pull the entire windshield out of the car. Then they had to gut the entire dash out. He took this piece right here. Yeah, let me try to get out here. Let's see. Yeah. Hard to see because of the reflections, but yeah, you see it now. Yeah, yeah. It's just one trim piece that goes across the dash. Right, one long trim piece. So that's actually pretty convenient. It's not the whole dashboard. Right, exactly, yeah lucked out there so they cut the dash cut the corners in the dash 
Cut a hole in them. Uh, made enclosures out of, I, what, do you, what do you think it was? Acrylic. Some kind of acrylic? It was yeah. acrylic, yeah. So stacked acrylic, um, and then put Don Audio, uh, what are they, the M430? E430s, yeah. that's yeah, what yeah. I can't remember the model name off the top. You don't so. even know what you have in your car. Yeah, no, Come I do. On, I just couldn't remember if it was, in, I keep wanting to say MD from the guy. The guys on the line. internet know your car better than you do. Well, they probably do, and that's good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've got those in some sealed enclosures, and... That's kind of it, you know. Any reason why you picked those? Any reason why you picked the scan speeds, so, the GB sixties? Because so, we know you're a very technical guy. Let's yeah. let's come on. Right, right. Let's so, get some good content. So, here. so some good content is you yeah. Know, let's get back in because it's loud out here. So let's get some content. All right. So I was basically paid off by the powers that be to run all of these different brands. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. It was just one guy, and he has a lot of money, and he likes everything in the world. So he just paid me off. Okay. Um, no, I, absolutely not. So. Um, <laughs> What I really wanted was the best of the best that I felt I could use in my car. So I tested these Dons uh, years ago, and I was really impressed frequency response-wise. Back when you were cool and you were doing testing. Oh, I was cool? Yeah. Well, cooler I, than now. I didn't know I was ever cool. Cooler but, than now. Well, you you can't take that back because now it's on the internet. So. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, well, it will be. I'll make sure of that. So I put the Dons in, or I ordered the Dons because I've wanted them forever. Uh, the scans are somewhat new. Uh, I've used them before. I initiated a group buy on them. I was really impressed with them when I did that. And um, I don't know. I mean, scan speak tweeters are really hard to beat, so I ordered those. The Audio Frogs GB60s, for me, in my opinion, are probably some of the best, if not the best, uh, pure six inch mid bass driver that you can get today. And they're required. No cutting of the door, nothing fancy. You just drop them in and you go. So the doors were treated with Vibraflex um deadener and that was really nice really thick um i've got some other Something stuff stiff. in here yeah that's yeah. like heavy duty like yeah. vinyl based oh it's super uh, thick deadener. you have to heat it up for like 20 minutes where you can even apply it um but then i've got some ccf on the inside of the door car to help tame some of the rattles they're not all completely gone but you know i'll live with it for now and i think that that might be it i don't know that i'm leaving anything out i don't know am i leaving anything what's your out? favorite uh what's your favorite 80s song Oh, my favorite? Tears yeah. for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Okay. Absolutely, no doubt. And that's, then That's close, what we all wanted to know. Close second would be Dire Straits, Money for Nothing, just because that's a classic. Oh my God, yeah. so generic. No, man, I, so I've basic. loved that song forever. You are so basic. Basic? Yeah, that's what basic. I am? Your face I know is basic. why you like that. Because Kirk's car. car. Yeah, yeah, first demo, like what, 2007, 2008, so. Maybe I should go get a video from him. You absolutely should. They're, they're kind of like secret though. I don't know if they want to. No, I'll, I'll introduce you. Yeah, I know Kirk. I mean, well, oh, let's well, go. I Your know buddies are. Kirk. I know him. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Huh? He helped me out with my mid range. <laughs> he, he put some stuff in my mid range for me. He may have put some magic pixie dust in there. Did he? No, not at all. Oh. He may have touched them though. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's that's it. Yeah. That's no, it. I agree. So, right. let's go. Uh, let's go track him down. I can't think of anything else in here that's really worth. Besides, you got just a basic looking car. Why, yeah. you know, why are you an extreme with a with a stock class car? What the hell's yeah, going right? on? Because you got, I've got to be mod X or extreme. Oh, and you're, you got, oh, go. let's talk about this. What oh. you got in there? Oh, that's just a, it's a voltage display. No, that's what you're talking no, about, it's right? Uh, yeah, it's just a little miniature there. voltage display. That's the mini DSP. Uh, it's a mini DSP C DSP, which also includes direct live yeah. and I'm running that. So I wrote a review on that about a month or maybe two months ago. Big I was, thread. Yeah, yeah, big thread. I was really impressed with it in my old Civic. And so I thought, well, I'm definitely going to try it in my new Civic. There are some things about it that, that it doesn't quite do as, as well as I hoped it would. For example, mid bass and down, it has trouble with in the car. Uh, I have some opinions on that, but I'm not going to state them out loud. So <laughs> outside of that, I mean, the focus that it gives you is, is uncanny. I still have about four or five hours or so of post-processing that I've done. So I ran direct. Uh, got in the car and listened. Um, the way I tune is I usually will basically just use pink noise, uh, full band pink noise, or broken down by octave pink noise. I still use your pink yeah noise tracks. my test dicks. Yeah, yeah. sixty three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's great tracks. I was given those by somebody a long time ago, and I've used them ever since. Is um, that you though? Going? Oh no, no. I don't know who that, that is. You? I think that might be from like an auto sound disc no, or something. No, I thought that was you. No, man, that's not me. For years, I was like, oh, that's Aaron. Oh, because I got them from you, and it sounds like. Did he you. sound southern? Do you want to hear them? I know, man. I've got the 1K. same ones. One K. One K. No, it's 
It sounds just like yeah. you. No, it is me then. Yeah, yeah. Is, we'll just go on with that. So yeah, it is you. It's probably is you. And test tones, test tones, and a sine wave generator app on mm -hmm. my phone. I use that for bass. So I feel like test tones are easier for um, for tuning bass and pink noise, uh, mid range and, and up. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Yeah. So basically, trying sales? to create a, a stock looking install, something that you know I don't have anything blocking my visibility. I wanted to keep this car simple and safe for my wife to drive so I don't have to worry about her getting into a wreck and her head getting chopped off by a five inch mid-range getting flung at it. So that's a <laughs> good feeling. Who would have thought yeah. Aaron would have nothing, yeah. no no, no blocking of the windows? Who yeah. would have thought? I would have never thought that. And I must say, I actually enjoy this car more than I enjoyed my old one. So it's really surprising. Cool. It jams, man. I gotta get a demo after yeah. I'm done with all these still, videos. Still got a long way to go before I feel like it's, it's tip top shape, but I'm really happy with it thus far. So, and, yeah. and Steve and the guys at Audio X, they did a killer job on this install, much better than my hack job. So, <laughs> I would have destroyed this thing. People would have got in and been like, oh, you did this install, didn't you? Yeah. How'd you know? Like, well, looks like you did it. So, <laughs> yeah. so, I'm really happy with it. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing us the car. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, we'll see you out there. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, thank you. Of course. All right, that's it. I'll throw Nick's link up to his own YouTube page below so you can see more of his installs. And I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Again, please check the link to Car Audio Junkies where my entire build log is posted in more detail.